What's good, K Squad, and welcome to or back to my channel. It's your girl, Kirsty Renee, and I am back with another fragrance video. So, this is going to be my top 10. 11 <laughs> my top 10 fragrances that i'm going to be wearing this spring y'all already know me i wear what i want when i want okay so if you like today's video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up duh and subscribe to the channel okay so that you can see more videos from me and turn on your post notifications all right so i'm going to start off with one of my favorites from bath and body works and these are all except for three Bath and Body Works fragrances and three of them are going to be Victoria's Secret. This right here is my Denim and Daisy. This one was a love at first sniff type of scent. It's super fresh, definitely a springtime scent of fruity floral, but kind of sort of more floral. But I love this one a lot and I will definitely be using this up this spring. I plan on, I want to get through at least three of these bottles completely like i want to demolish these bottles okay and i think that this is going to be one of them next scent that we have is going to be indigo dreams you guys know if you've been watching me over the last couple of videos that this was a recent pickup this one is another one that i plan on using the entire bottle of this spring because why this scent does not last for anything and i have found myself gravitating so much to this scent since i bought it i have been spraying this scent a lot it doesn't last so i kind of want to get through it fast because i love it so much i think it smells so good it's like a almost baby powder type of scent it's just super fresh and a very nice springtime type of scent like i said all of these scents are going to give you that springtime vibe it is going to have mostly florals or it's going to be like a fruity floral but somewhere in it is going to have a floral vibe going to it because springtime is all about flowers so that's when you want to pull out all your flower scents okay you don't really want to wear your snickerdoodles and stuff like that i mean you can because y'all already know what i want to wear i'm gonna wear it but that's not really a time for that. That's more of like a wintertime scent versus these ones. So yeah, I'm not gonna get too much into how they smell because I have talked about all of these scents numerous times, okay? But yeah, definitely Indigo Dreams is another one that I want to use the complete bottle of because it does not last super long. The next scent is going to be Butterfly. And this one has like nectar in it. So that what gives it that more of like a springtime vibe to it. And butterflies are definitely springtime. So that is why I put this one into the list and I cannot wait to finish up this bottle. I don't think I want to finish this bottle this spring because I like this scent a lot. This one and the next one that I'm going to talk about. So yeah, this is number three okay so this it right here i know y'all like girl that's not really in my opinion this is kind of like a seasonal like a scent for all the seasons in my opinion so this one is going to be fairy tale love at first sniff i feel like you can't go wrong with this scent throughout any season this is another one that i am not ready to part ways with yet i have not been able to get my hands on another bottle of this yet so i'm not ready to part ways with it i've used about this much of this fragrance and from right there to like right there so yeah this is another one that i plan on wearing i have been taking it easy on this scent as of recently because i j i'm just not ready to use up this whole bottle because this scent just smells so good and like i said i feel like this is a scent that you can't go wrong with during any season it's going to smell good either which way in my opinion okay my opinion okay next up i'm going to count all of these as one fragrance um not one fragrance but just one thing i do plan on you know rotating all of these uh i said in that video that i really like fresh but fresh is we talking back and forth because i don't really like it as much as when i first got in the first sniff i feel like the more i wear it the more i don't kind of like it i don't know but it still smells good but we have gorgeous fresh and vibrant and i plan on pick i plan on using these quite a lot this spring i definitely won't use them all up like i said and gorgeous has had me in a chokehold so i don't even think this is going to make it 
make it very long, okay? Because she has had me in a choco. I've been finding myself wearing her every single day. She smells amazing. And this is like a strawberry scent. And y'all know I love strawberry scents. It's so hard to find a good strawberry scent because nobody really makes strawberry scents like that pure strawberry. Like you'll find a lot of gourmand strawberry scents, but nothing like this. I know Bath and Body Works used to have strawberry leaf and that kind. this is kind of what it reminds me of, but you can tell that it's two totally different scents. But that type of strawberry it is. And Calgon, I don't know if you guys know, I'm kind of, I'm not old, but you know, girl, I've been born in the 90s. I'm a 90s baby. If you guys know about Calgon, I believe that they still sell it in Walmart. If not, they just recently stopped. But Calgon used to make a strawberry scent way back in the days. And y'all, that is like the best strawberry scent I have ever smelled in my life. I don't know why they ever discontinued that because I be searching all over the internet for that scent. Like, oh my God. I need it. They need to bring that scent back so bad. But yeah, that's the vibes that this gives me. So I will definitely be using her up like real bad, real bad. Okay, real bad. That's the Gingham collection and the flankers from the Gingham. Okay, I don't know if I said Gingham. Y'all already know. I be saying stuff wrong all the time. Okay. The next fragrance, the last fragrance from Bath and Body Works is going to be Confetti Daydream. You guys have not heard me talk about this scent in so long. And I know you guys are like, do you got, do you still like Confetti Daydream? Like, girl, what's going on? I'll hear you talk about Confetti Daydream. I do. I do still love Confetti Daydream. I feel like this is a boss girl scent. I still feel the same way about it that I've always smelled. Like, I just feel like when I smell this, I, it just reminds me of diamonds. I don't know why. It's not an old lady smell. It's nothing like that. It's very sweet. It's like that boss woman driving a, a convertible Mercedes or like the, the bad chicken hot in um, college. Like that pretty girl who always wearing heels, walking around campus, whatever. That's just the vibes that this one gives me and I will always forever love her. And I still have my original bottle. I, this one is a good one. I would highly recommend that you guys get this scent. It's gorgeous. But yes, I would definitely be using Confetti Daydream this spring. Because I feel like it's like a springtime, summertime scent. That's the, that's the vibe. But this is another one that I feel like can be worn kind of year round. But not really. It definitely gives spring and summer vibes. Definitely. On to my Victoria Secrets. So the next one I have is Velvet Petal Splash. Um, this is one that came from the Splash Collection, the only one that I have left. I took all the rest of them back to the store because they were leaking and I didn't really care for them like that. But I did keep Velvet Petals and I got makeup all over it. <laughs> Go me. But yeah, this one smells really good. I like this one a lot. I haven't worn it much, so I definitely want to get my wear out of it. This spring right here so this is jasmine sparkle pink lemon velvet petal makes a splash and like i said that by velvet petals alone you can tell it's kind of like a fruity floral scent so yeah definitely perfect for the springtime definitely juicy and floral and it's a gorgeous scent it lasts a pretty good wow i have worn it but i haven't worn it as of recently when i first got it i kind of wore it a lot but now I kind of toned it down with it. But yeah, now that spring has officially set her tail in, y'all gonna see me wearing this a lot. Next up, we have Nectar Wave. Y'all, I have a love relationship with Nectar Wave. I have a love relationship, but I don't reach for her that often. This one smells really good. I love it a lot. It's like a fresh, watery scent. I love to wear this one to like go to bed. It's like that calming scent. If you guys have noticed the type of scents that I like to wear to bed, it's always this type of vibe. It's very subtle, sweet, creamy, light. But yeah, I just picked this one as a springtime scent because it has, it's called Nectar. Nectar Wave, Nectar Springtime, baby, you get it, okay? It has fresh agave and pink berries, okay? So yeah, it's definitely juicy. This one can be a springtime scent, a summertime scent, but that's about it. I would not wear this one in any other season. If you go by the seasons with your scent, this is definitely one that gonna stand out more in the spring and summertime. And last but not least, we have Rogue Elixir. Y'all, I have not worn this one in so long, baby. I mean months since I have picked this fragrance up. This one smells so good, y'all, so good. It's like that mysterious type of fruity, 
nice berry type of scent. And you guys know springtime is all about the flowers, the berries, strawberry picking, all of that good stuff. And speaking of strawberry picking, y'all, I'm going strawberry picking with my daughter in her class. <laughs> That's why I said that. But yeah, this is what this smells like, like a just juicy, fresh, fruit okay and you know spring and summertime is all about the fruits and the flowers okay you would have thought by the packaging and the name rogue elixir that this one was like white diamonds or something like that you know what i'm saying like that type of scent no total opposite nice and fruity goodness i plan on getting through all of these scents these are the two these are the two scents that I definitely want to use up this spring and say goodbye to, which is going to be Denim and Daisy and Indigo Dreams. So these two will probably no longer be in my collection by the end of the spring and the summer, okay? Because I plan on going ham in the paint with these two. They smell really good and I cannot wait to use them up. Let me guys know your top three scents that you're going to be wearing this spring. And if you guys want to see my summertime lineup and also if you want to see my perfume version of my springtime lineup, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below and I will get that video recorded and uploaded for you guys. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me and supporting my channel. You guys are truly amazing and I love each and every one of you so freaking much, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video.